Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so I'm going to teach you really quick how to make an event. Uh, most of you probably already know, so I'm not going to get too in-depth, and if you need more instruction, just Google it or YouTube it, but you hit the events. Um, I don't know if you saw that. You hit the events. Oops, my fault. Um, tab, when you uh, on the menu over here on the left, you find your events, and you click that, and it's going to take you to a screen like this, and you just simply click Create, and this tab right here is what's important, okay? Um, when you're doing a clean eating group or a challenge group of any sort and you want everyone to see it, you need to change this to public, okay? Because they've changed Facebook a little bit. If you don't change this to public and you keep it on private, there's absolutely no way to make it public once the event is created, which isn't a huge deal. I mean, you could always recreate your event. It's just time consuming and um, especially if you have all your invites in there and everything. It's just wasted time. So just remember to create a public event and not a private. And the same goes for public. If you create it publicly, you cannot change it to private. So it's very simple. You just um, create a name. I have a sugar-free and sit-up challenge group coming up soon, but this could be for any group. I'm just going to put challenge here. Um, your details. Now, this is your description that people are going to see when they come into the group. It's going to be the very first post they see. Um, the cool thing is, is you can change this within the group. So let's just say I just wanted to, um, just to fill that in for now. You obviously, where, um, I don't ever fill this out because it's on Facebook and, you know, when and if you have a time. So you go ahead and create that. Now everybody's going to see that I have a challenge coming up, which is not really happening, but that's okay. So you always want to put an awesome photo here that's eye-catching, okay? So go to canva.com or you can go to... Um, pick monkey or something like that and download it to your upload it to your computer and or download honestly I don't know the difference between downloading and uploading so either way then you're just gonna upload it to here and it'll fill that in right there so you can see right here this is my description the cool thing is like I said you can always edit that so I can go in here and I can make whatever description that I want um, I want it to be something that people are gonna want to read and it's gonna give them all the information they need kind of short and sweet though so they know what it is um, and they don't have to spend a lot of time reading, okay? Um, so that's it. When you want to invite people, you can choose to invite your friends, um, which is really cool. If you, ha if you have categories of people, you can choose those categories. Um, you can do all friends, but I have obviously 2275. You can't select all with that. You can only select all, I think, with like 100 people or something like that. So um, you would have to individually um, click. Now, there are ways to invite mass amounts of people. Um, that's not what this video is about. If you want, you can, again, YouTube that or Google it. That's fine. I believe there is some sort of app for that. Um, so that's how you can invite people or you can just go ahead or I should say and you want to go ahead and share your event. This would po post it publicly on your Facebook page. So um, that's basically it. Like I said, I'm not going to get too involved in how to create an event. That's just the basics of it. Um, very simple, very easy. So um, there you go. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let us know and we can go ahead and answer those for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.